hello everyone and very welcome to the channel in this video i am going to show you an open source free ai powered tool to manipulate your images with just text prompts i think this tool is better described by showing you an example before i show you the installation let's watch this video from their github repo so if i click on play on the left hand side they have selected an image also they are giving it a prompt just describing the original image that it's a bottle of a drink um, a bottle of whiskey in water and then beach scene and then this is the one it has produced the tool and then they have given it another prompt describing as what this bottle of whiskey should be like a bottle of whiskey placed in the lava or somewhere and then it is going to be changed there you go so now it is in lava and then they are just changing it let's wait for it there you go so this is what we are going to install locally and then we will uh, play around with it also um, the company or the people behind this tool is out of ai the name this is the name of the company and this is their first version of image modification tool through prompt manipulation by reconstruction through diffusion inversion process at least you would need 16 gb vram for it but i believe that you should have at least 48 gb of vram so that you could have some decent performance and for the best experience go with either a100 gpu or h100 gpu with 80 gb of vram of course no one can buy not everyone can buy it so i would suggest rent it and if you're looking to rent it on affordable prices this is a mass compute who are sponsoring the VM and GPU for this video. If you are looking to rent a GPU on affordable prices, I will drop the link to their website in video's description. Plus, I am also going to give you a coupon code of 50% discount on a range of GPUs, so do check them out. Let's go to my terminal and then we will get this thing installed. So This is my Ubuntu terminal where I'm running Ubuntu 22.04 and this is my GPU card NVIDIA H100 with 80 GPU of VRAM courtesy mass compute. Let me clear the screen. Let me create a virtual environment. You can even create it with Python virtual environment or you can simply direct install it. I prefer to go with the virtual environment with Conda as it keeps everything separate from my local system. Okay, so you can see that not only I have created it, but also I have activated it as shown in the parenthesis on the left. Next up, let's install all of these prerequisites. This is going to take a couple of minutes. So let's wait for it to finish. It is installing PyTorch, Torch Vision, and then Transformers. So the prerequisites are done. Let me git clone the repo of this out of focus tool and we have seeded it into it let me clear the screen and i think i forgot to tell you the name of the tool so its name is out of focus out of ai is a company behind it anyway it doesn't matter we have so many tools so let's install all the requirements from the root of the repo and i will drop the link to this repo in video description let's wait for it to get installed so all the prerequisites are done. Let's clear the screen. Next up, in order to run this tool, all you need to do is to run this command and it is going to launch a Gradio app in browser. So first time it is going to download these models. So let's wait for it, it to get finished. And there you go. So our tool is running on the Gradio's default port. It's port 7860 on our local host. Let's let me open it in the browser. And there you go out of focus is now running on our local system in this browser now this looks a bit whitish so there is a hacky way of doing putting the dark theme let me see if it works i'm just appending this double underscore theme there you go it worked okay so the hack worked now we have a darker theme okay so let me make it a bit bigger so that we'll be able to see what is happening okay so so this is where you need to upload your image then this is where you need to describe your prompt, generate it, and then generate the vision. Let me try it out. So first up, I have just selected this example. Let me go up. And there you go. So you see, this is the image on the left hand side, the original one, a photo of plastic bottle on a rock, mountain background, sky background. And then we have said it, a photo of plastic bottle on some sand. 
beach background or sky background and it has changed it i have just changed the prompt to a uh, photo of plastic bottle on lava beach background and lava has done this let me say maybe molten lava let's generate it there you go there is molten lava pretty interesting and then you can just say a photo of plastic bottle with uh red drink in it can it do it let me generate it the speed is quite good there you go so it's not a red drink but a red gap is there interesting okay let me try out one of my own images so i'm just clicking on this x here let me grab some photos so maybe i'll just pick this komodo dragon image and then let me describe it in the prompt so i'm just going to say a photo of komodo dragon in what should i say here in the wild let's see forest or bush background would be better let me click on reconstruct let's see what it does i will let it run so that you would see you see it has reconstructed uh, reconstructed it like that and now we can just change it that so it has also pasted our okay it's still working where do i see it okay it is still working here let's wait for it to finish nice so i'm happy with this image now let me try to change it so i'm just going to it says in the wild i'll just say or maybe i'll just say beach background how is that or maybe um yeah beach background let's check it out in the wild let's put it that window we'll see what it does okay i don't see any beach here do you see it Oops, maybe I'll just move the wild here. Okay, it is still working, I guess. Uh, maybe I'll just try to change it here. So I'm just going being very transparent, showing you as is. Let's try to do it. No, it, yeah, there is some beachy thing. You see, it it has changed the earth, but doesn't look like much beachy to me. Maybe I'll just I need to improve my uh, prompt here. You see, I'll just take the cue from here like um komodo dragon on some sand beach background let's do this komodo dragon on some sand beach background maybe sky background let's check out yeah i don't see much difference there what do you think only it is changing this one okay anyway let's try out another image then in the next one uh, i'm just going to put my own photo and i'm just saying a photo of man indoor background and let's reconstruct okay that's not me but anyway i'll just let it run and then I, okay my work it's already done that's cool okay i'm just going to say indoor back maybe i'll just say outdoor background red shirt let's see if it is able to change it or not nope it's not outdoor background and it's not red shirt so am i missing something or what let's try this one so you see it's a digital illustration and then it has converted into realistic photo okay so maybe i'll just change i'll just copy this prompt and i'll just select one image of my own and then i'll go from there so in this next example i have given it a photo of lake with a reflection of clouded sky sky background with clouds mountain background this one looks much better you see okay let's wait for it to get created still working as you can see with this orange box and i'm changing it like this a photo of lake filled with milk sky background with no clouds mountain background let's see 
and I will let it run in front of you. I don't see any milk, but it has changed it, but I don't see anything. Maybe I'll just try again. Oops, maybe I'll change it with molten lava. Yeah, it has changed the mountain, but not the lake. So I wonder how these examples are working then. So for example, if we check out this one, you see it says a photo of a tree spring and foggy and then it has generated this version. Let me click here. So this looks good. How is that possible? Maybe I'll just say, okay, autumn here instead of spring. Let's generate it. Yeah, it has just put some colors in. How about, I'll just put summer here and then generate vision. And then instead of tree, I am going to just say a statue of horse. So I think it has to be something with that image, I guess. So we have to uh, ground our prompt in the image. Maybe I'll just say with a swing. Can I put a swing on it? There is some hint of swing. Anyway, so I will let you play with it. But you see that uh, we have to be, you know, very much stringent around the prompts and stuff. But still, the examples are quite off with what we have been trying. If I'm doing anything wrong, feel free to let me know and I'm happy to do it again. I don't see many options of changing stuff here. Maybe this, these are the steps which, uh, but I'm just going with the default ones. Maybe these are few of the advanced options, but these are only mentioning the weights and that sort of stuff and few of the self attention. And these are all the default value. You don't see much, um, you know, room there to change. Anyway, so that's it. I will drop the link to this repo in video description. Let me know what do you think. If you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. If you're already subscribed, please share it among your network as it helps a lot. Thank you for watching.